I've edited the audio for clarity. The original and edited argument between Thunderfoot and how the world works is available via the link in the description box. Allow me to make this clear. An ad hominem attack as a logical fallacy is when it is used as a substitute for an argument. Misdirection. The words ad hominem or ad hom mean literally to the man. Ad hominem to the man. Attacking somebody's character may not necessarily be a substitute for an argument, as it may well be the argument in itself. And this does not necessarily mean that it is not fallacious. Attacking somebody's character can be, and usually is, fallacious in itself. I shall attempt to clarify this later. Allow me to make this clear. An ad hominem attack as a logical fallacy is when it is used as a substitute for an argument. Invariably the terms that I use are derived from or are a consequence of presented arguments. And yes, I make no secret of my disdain for someone who engages in actions as anti-social as selling disinformation and conspiracy theories, especially ones which may end up affecting the future of mankind for cash. Thunderfoot is incorrect and misleading. Simply saying derive from or consequence of presented arguments does not magically make, say, calling somebody a money-grubbing subscriber whore a valid or reasonable assertion, even if it is true. As it is belittling. Now belittling one's opponent or interjector. It is not just logically fallacious. As it is also true in the wider field of argumentation theory, belittling one's opponent can be entertaining and amusing for an audience. But it isn't following the correct principles of reason. And logic is the correct principles of reason. And in the wider field of argumentation theory, a good argument, one should attempt to, if following best practice, keep it simple, relevant, logical, and don't add any unnecessary distractions by, say, belittling one's opponent, as it may unnecessarily cloud the point you are trying to make, distract the audience, and alienate one's opponent. If your argument is good, the audience and your opponent will see the validity of it and make up their own minds as to the character of one's interjector. For example, if I was to call Thunderfoot a hypocritical money-grubbing subscriber whore who is selling disinformation for cash, this may be true and amusing, but it is belittling, and it holds all of the negative consequences I've spoke of earlier and it distracts from any point I was trying to make. Thus, this is fallacious. I think branding this jerk as Captain Stares a lot is both fitting and humorous under the circumstances. Similarly, Mr. Buster correctly quotes me as saying that I do not attempt to monetize the Thunderfoot channel, as this could be used as an unfair criticism from suggesting a conflict of interest or some such. And yeah, that does put a fiscal value on the level to which I honour the integrity of this channel. He then suggests that I am a hypocrite due to my criticism of how the world works. But of course, it is an entirely fair criticism of how the world works. He is a money-grubbing subscriber whore, and the fact that I do not attempt to monetize my channel to maintain its integrity does nothing to nullify this. And yeah, his intentions and his motives are relevant. Intentionally making money through disinformation is significantly worse than merely making money through disinformation. Knowledge. Knowledge and society are the future. Indeed, the interplay between knowledge, society, and the advancement of civilization both have no issues with plagiarism. Ad hominem attacks, of course, and here you will notice that the attack on the person is a substitute for the argument. Both demonstrate their lack of character and moral fibre, in that YouTube gives them the ability to censor comments, and both zealously engage in the activity. And, of course, both, when all other options have been exhausted,
simply tip the board over and declare victory. Regrettably, how the world works. Sorry. PCS2. That's not how the world works. Annihilating someone's argument is not a criterion that is simply achieved by declaring it. Indeed, the mere fact that you need to make such a statement seems to suggest that you do not think that this is self-evident from your argument. In that respect, it's more like Fox News claiming to be fair and balanced. Allow me to summarize PCS2. Braying about how smart you think you are does little to add to your credibility when you are categorically wrong on multiple elementary levels, especially when you further compound your errors by further attempting to justify your ignorance by a variety of deeply unconvincing excuses, and then finally claim that factual veracity is not important as it's only YouTube and who the heck cares, and then ultimately, when all other possible options have been explored, you correct your mistake. To summarize the summary, the knowledge of mankind has guardians to stop antisocial vermin such as yourself from pissing in the fountain of knowledge. To summarize the summary of the summary, keep polluting science, swine. Your bitch ass is mine, sunshine. To summarize, hello earlier, Thunderfoot. Accidentally or intentionally, via his ignorant and misleading use of logic and argumentation theory, in applied and demonstrated use of, in an attempt to justify belittling his interjector. I'm not convinced that Thunderfoot's own attempts at pissing in the fountain of knowledge on this particular subject will be of much benefit to mankind. In fact, one might argue quite the opposite. Of course, the term hypocritical could be directed at me. One could see this video as a veiled attempt to belittle Thunderfoot, rather than an attempt to show best practice, by example. You must make up your own mind as to whether this was a good or bad argument. Have fun.